So we're going to be reading The King of Tiny Things. I'm very excited to read it, I haven't read it. One summer, when we were small, we went to stay with Nana and Grandad. They look like they've got a cool garden. There was a tent in Grandad's shed. You could camp under the stars, he said. It seemed like a brilliant idea until bedtime. We'd only ever slept indoors with the light on. Night, night, sleep tight, they said. We didn't, daren't too dark. I shone my torch. Don't, said Chrissy. Creepy crawlies will come and get us. There was a fuzzy shadow. Something mothy crept in through the flap. Chrissy screamed, ah! She swatted it on its back, but it wasn't a bug. <gasps> what do we think it's going to be? It was a boy no bigger than a beetle. He looked us in the eye and he sang this lullaby. I am the king of tiny things who creep and crawl and or buzz with their wings. Mine is the magic that nighttime brings. Follow me, follow me, follow me. <gasps> this is the king of tiny things. He led us up the garden path and disappeared under the shed. We looked and there he was, oiling a slug who'd lost its slime. Ugh, said Chrissy. How can you care for creepy crawlies? How can you not, he cried. They turn the soil so, so seeds can sow. They visit plants so crops can grow. We need them more than you could know. Follow me, follow me, follow me. <gasps> so when the king of tiny things found a worm drying on the path, we carried it to the compost heap to recover. When he found a caterpillar trapped under a pot, we set it free. And when we found a daddy long legs missing a leg, we made it a new one. The king showed us many marvellous moonlit things, weevils with copper wings, chubby grubs, badger cubs, baby bats in furry hats. But best of all, he showed us that even in the shadows, the night was bright with magic. And he sang, follow me, follow me, follow me. We didn't follow him straight away. We were too busy being brave but we should have. His boat had sunk. We fished him out of the pond. If his heart was beating, I couldn't feel it. It was smaller than an apple pip. <gasps> Tiny little heart. I tried to give him the kiss of life, but Chrissy said, stop, he is no bigger than a beetle. We must nurse him the creepy crawly way. She found a reed no wider than a whisker and put it to his lips. I'll give him little puffs, she said. You pinch his nose. I pinched and she puffed. She pinched and I puffed and he spluttered, sat up and looked very pleased to be alive. As we tucked him into bed, he shivered and he said, for the love of tiny things, will you be my creepy crawly queens? Yes, we said, but you must rest now, little man. Night, night, sleep tight. We woke early. We went to say goodbye to him before Dad came to fetch us. Chrissy got there first. She was kneeling by his bed with her head in her hands. All that was left of him was his crown, his cloak and his crumpled skin. Fetch a matchbox, she cried, and a trowel. Oh. We buried the matchbox under a marigold, but as we turned to leave, something flew down and landed on my hand. At first, I thought it was a beetle, but it wasn't. What is it gonna be? <gasps> it was the king of tiny things, only bigger, bolder, brighter, as if he'd shed his skin to get his grown-up's wings. And by the moon and the stars, he smiled and he sang, follow me, follow me, follow me. And on those magical summer nights, when we stayed with Nana and Grandad, that's just what we did. <gasps> wow!